PT is Osama bin Laden. The President of the United States is going to be staking his presidency on this call. Docker 1, we've lost tail rudder. Three, two, one! Tonight we ride. And down! executed by up to 25 special operations forces working for the CIA took place early Monday morning in Pakistan at a large compound in an affluent suburb of the capital of Islamabad. Two Black Hawk helicopters approached the hideout. One of them suffered a mechanical failure as it came in and made a hard landing. The commandos, mostly Navy SEALs, stormed out of the helicopters and into a three-story building at the heart of the compound. A firefight erupted. Bin Laden is said to have resisted, but was killed inside the building, along with one of his sons, two couriers, and a woman used as a human shirt. And U.S. officials say the Pakistani government is going to have a hard time explaining how Bin Laden could have been living there without anyone knowing. Well, it doesn't sound like this was some clandestine cave, obviously, but how did the U.S. actually find out that he was at this compound, as large as you say as it was? A million dollar compound, eight times bigger than any of the other homes in a town where retired Pakistani military officers live just 35 miles north of the capital of Islamabad. It was built in 2005, apparently just for Bin Laden. Walls as high as 18 feet topped with barbed wire. The main building with opaque windows facing out and a seven-foot privacy wall on the third floor balcony. The residents of the compound burned their trash instead of putting it out for collection. And despite the $1 million price tag, there was no telephone or internet service. Three families lived there. The couriers, his brothers, and a third family about the size of bin Laden's. It was a convincing but circumstantial case. President Obama considered attacking with B-2 stealth bombers flying nonstop from the U.S. But instead, he chose the option that offered the best chance of coming away with proof bin Laden had been killed, a helicopter raid by Navy SEALs. It was also the riskiest. American commandos operating without permission deep inside Pakistani territory. The operation was so tightly held that when the SEALs began training on a mock-up of the compound, they were not told who the real target was. For Teague, the option of a remote airstrike with B-2 bombers is offered and rejected. The president wants proof positive of bin Laden's death, not just a hole in the ground. If the operation is a go, it will be handled by the so-called silent option, the Navy SEALs. In April, units from SEAL Team 6 start training for the operation stateside, using a mock-up of the compound to familiarize themselves with its every structure, wall, and Five, entrance. The Black Hawks carried 25 SEALs. The Chinooks had a backup force and extra fuel for mid-air refueling. The SEALs planned a fast rope onto the roof of the main building right over bin Laden's head while the second helo dropped its seals onto the courtyard. But the second helo lost lift and had to land, clipping its tail rotor on a wall. That forced the first helo to change plans and land its seals on the ground. They now had to blast their way through walls, losing precious minutes and the element of... surprise. 
The SEALs were shooting their way up the stairs to bin Laden's bedroom. Finally, McRaven reported Geronimo, E-K-I-A. Geronimo, code name for bin Laden, E-K-I-A, enemy killed in action. Now the SEALs had to get out before the Pakistanis scrambled jets to shoot down the unknown intruders. Only one Blackhawk could fly, so McRaven sent in a Chinook to help pick up the SEALs who were hauling bin Laden's body and a treasure trove of captured computers, CDs, and the SEALs cleared the smaller building first, killing the courier and his brother, then moved to the main building where bin Laden and his family lived on the second and third floors. Bin Laden's son was killed, and so was a woman when the men tried to use her as a human shield. Closes and blew it up. This daytime photo shows what was left. Facial recognition technology confirmed the body was bin Laden's. And this morning, a DNA match removed virtually any known to an aircraft carrier in the Arabian Sea, where it was washed, wrapped in a white sheet, and placed in a weighted bag. Then the world's most infamous man was sent to the bottom of the ocean.